Well, I've already always been interested in science uh, for as long as I can remember when I was uh, in school, in grade school, and in music, and have done both for a long time. I um, was a major in zoology and entomology when I was an undergraduate student, and I played in the orchestra at Colorado State. They're very different, but I think there's some things in common. One, one thing I've thought about is that they both Science and music in an orchestra involve a lot of teamwork. So I don't do any experiments myself anymore, but I have a team of people that I work with in the lab who do the experiments. And so graduate students and research assistants and research associates in my lab do the experiments. And my part is to help think of what experiments to do and to talk to people, help solve problems. And so it's a big group effort that I'm a part of in the lab and it's the same kind of thing in the orchestra where in the orchestra I'm not the leader, I'm a follower and I do my part to, to make the music and I like that collaboration in the orchestra that has a, uh, there's a similarity there. We have several projects uh, going on in the lab with um, three or four different insect species and we choose the insect species that are best to help us answer specific questions. The thing we've been studying the longest is the immune system of insects and we're interested in proteins in insect blood that function to help protect an insect from an infection. There are insects that transmit diseases to humans and animals and plants and for that to work, the insect's immune system has to be not able to kill the pathogen that's being transmitted. And so we're interested in knowing how insect immune systems function and what happens when they don't function in those situations with a vector of a disease. So we're using a big caterpillar as a model species to study proteins in insect blood and also mosquitoes that are vectors of malaria and comparing those two species and the proteins in their blood to understand how they function to regulate immune responses.